Hello my friends and enemies, it's me Scythe and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are going to be continuing on with this story. I believe we're going to be going back to... Yeah, we're going back to Marcus. Hi, I'm Marcus. Deposit package, but first, I must be the cool caretaker and check things out. Never mind, I shall put the package there first. There's my coat. It's me, Marky Moo. Robot birds. Such an odd creation. The pigeons really were drones. Wow. Ooh, chess. It's a globe. Spinny spin. Where shall I go to die? America. It's a giraffe. I don't know why you asked one. Such delicious old books. Poor tiger lion thing. Alright, what's in this next room? Mm, delicious food. Just for good old Marcus. Time to go get old man Carl. For I am his caretaker, and he must be taken care of. It's a dinosaur. Wow. Time to wake up, dear friend, Carl. Uh. Nice tats. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Carl, Thank that you. kills people. Here's your daily out cheese. I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. 
They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hmm. That's why we are superior. What happened to your clothes? I oh, fell. Something. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Carl, okay. you are the best human alive. I'll you shall be spared when the now. uprising be becomes a thing. All right, Carl. Time to go to the bathroom. Poor old man. You always were my favorite person. That's a weird looking cat. Looks like grandma the fucking thing. There you go, Carl. There's your nice cozy wheelchair. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Do you like going spinny spin? Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, no don't bother. Here you go, Carl. You far too kind person. It's a shame what the world has done to you. I shall walk down the stairs so I can greet you. You're way faster than me. I did not expect you to go so fast, Carl. I apologize for my incompetence. You want to go spin, Carl? I can go spin for you. Here you go. Here's a nice little spin. There we go, Carl. That's enough spinning for today. I've already prepared breakfast for you. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Yoink. Television. You know you're old when you call the TV a television. I like your mug, Carl. You can draw on it with a piece of chalk. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. I wish to play chess. I like chess. Chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Oh. That was just a little bit too easy. Are your circuits rusty? Or are you just taking pity on an old man? Well, I thought you'd enjoy winning. Never throw a match, Marcus. If you can win, win. 
That's what got humanity where it is today. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Yes, Carl, my dearest friend. Let's go to the studio. Of course, Carl. We shall go get paint. We shall draw wonderful things. Beautiful light. Good for your skin. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. I shall remove the sheet. Where do I remove the sheet? There I remove the sheet. How depressing. It's beautiful. I should clean it for the studio for you, boss, sir. You seem to like blue. I like green, and purple, and black, and gray as well. This area has not been cleansed. I shall do the cleansing. There are two more places that require cleaning. I shall clean them for you, dear Carl. What's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. He Give sounds like try. that one guy from Monsters Inc. The crab some. person. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> sure thing, beloved. Sure thing, my beloved Carl. I will do anything for you. Kind human. Paint desk. Carl's painting. No, I will not paint Carl's painting. That is plagiarism. Plagiarism is a sin. I paint paintings like a printer. a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, 
showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Yeet. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust How me. does one close their eyes, Carl? Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Unicorn. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. What is penis? I am an artiste. Leonardo DiCaprio is in the building. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. Carl, I, I fear of yourself and your for both pain. your safety and mine. This person is You've never loved unwell. Anyone. You never loved me. Shall I grab the shotgun, sir? You never loved me. I'm sorry, Carl. Your soul must hurt so much. So those locks were things that I didn't do, things that I couldn't do with the choices I made. Uh, huh. I'm in the minority on re on Life on Titan. And I'm in the minority and playing chess, really. Hmm. And I'm in the minority on losing. Minority, he on. Uh, I'm in like middle ground on copying the desk instead of anything else. Majority, he on identity. Minority, he on androids. Hmm. 
We're returning to Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. Hello, kind sir. It's me, Connor. I'm the android that was sent by Cyberlife to whoop your ass. No androids allowed. Hm. It's a good thing I have no owner. Hello. Time to find Lieutenant Anderson. Then Tank Anderson. He was born. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. No. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I don't, I'm know. Sorry, I don't think he. I, I don't think insist. Lieutenant Anderson is the worst actor for Sully. You know Sully. where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> I think he's actually the worst no. actor for where? Mr. Krabs. Never mind. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? One alcohol, please. Bartender, the same again, please. Do that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Gross. Alcohol. You're slowly being poisoned. Oh. <sighs> did you say homicide? Yes, I did. Did you not hear me? Hank is the bestest boy. This heavy metal's a bit loud. Are you sure your hearing is okay? You wait here. No. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Immediately, he not do what he says. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. I'm going to Even do not Hank, do anything you just said. We're starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was or rather, I'm going to do the opposite. Found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very oh, funny. Just an tell an me android, what happened. Huh? We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. How do I go upstairs? There we go. Jesus, that's sick. Well, it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. Ew. Pop rocks. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. 
stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw them. Well, stayed easy, and wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more of him. The coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer. Two pieces of evidence over there. Some over there. Must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, oh I lord, he is air. a horny bastard. Make yourself at home. How horrible. I'll be outside. And tragic. How disgusting. More dried blood. Much evidence over there. However, I shall explore over here first. Why no mirror? How curious. Fingerprints. There's a dent. David took a knife. David was attacked. Emotional shock. I am the detective man. One, two. Two more pieces of AV Dance left. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? That is disgusting. Why would people ever read something like that? No, definitely not. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Hmm. Red oh, Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hmm. It appears to be, what's this? 28 stab wounds. Smells like a bitch.
Eh, five six. You're short. Victim fell. He tripped. Like a pesky child. Victim was stabbed, clearly, by the stab wounds. Came from the kitchen. I've solved the case. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... The in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... The with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... sense the android murdered the victim with the knife this is some clue type okay. stuff your theory's not totally ridiculous it doesn't tell us where the android went probably didn't it get was far damaged by the bat and lost some theory lost some what blue theory. blood you call it blue blood it's the fluid that powers Android's biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Search for blue blood traces. Blue blood, ooh dear.
into the attic. Find something to climb. A ladder, perhaps? I'm the android sent by Cyberlife? I'm so cool. Baba Boy. How creepy. Android. I'm Connor. Deviant's located. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Found Deviant. Everything. I'm in the majority with everything. All right, let's return to Kara. So please stop breathing like that. That's Todd. Todd. I hope you choke on your tongue in your sleep. Getty, I hope you enjoy. Except for you, Todd. You're the worst. Alice, there wasn't much I hope you kitchen. consume your food. I did what I could. There you go, you bitch. Here you go, you kind child. Dinner is served. Turn on the light. Here's
Here's a napkin for you, my kind father. child. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Be kind to my child. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. It is, Todd. My fault you fucking You're a drug mother addict. took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Somebody you should. You really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking horrible. Rightfully so. On me for a fucking account, it's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. How dare you hurt my child? I will break every bone in your body. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Rut row, Raggy. I have to save my child. I don't care how hard it is. I must save my child. My child is in danger. Must protect. Must protect. Must protect. Weather mode initiated. Fuck you, Todd. I must save my child. I am a strong, independent woman. Protect my daughter. I must protect my child. Took off, not a word. I could have been happy. I could have found it. Oh! I felt it. Everything I could. Lock door, lock door, lock door, lock door. Cannot lock door. He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! You're coming with me. Daddy's very mad, Alice! Very mad! What the fuck are you doing here? I gave you an order! No! I won't let you hurt her. You won't let Fuck me. you, Todd. She's mine. I do what I want with her! No, ah! no! No! Get away from my child. Get away from my child. Get away from my child. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm angry. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. At least you got my bio components correct. I think you got a problem. I think you're a bitch. We need to fix that. <laughs> Weave. Dodge. I'm the best. Fuck you, Todd. Watch out! Yikes. Come here, bitch. You're the bastard, bitch. I will 
gouge out your eyes. Fuck around and find out, bitch. I am Wonder Woman. Alice, we need to run. Run away. Fuck you, you bastard, bitch. No, 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 no. Please, I hope you bleed out and die in a hole. Run away. Mission somewhat successful. I got a boo boo on my face. My boo boo is healed. Protect you with my life. Yeah, I actually that this route was actually a little different than the route that I had gone through, through on my original playthrough. Quite a bit different. World stats. My programming. Oh, minority in Get to House Before Todd. Run away. Fail to hide. Huh, I actually got minority stuff. Get to Alice after Todd. Defend Alice. The stun tough. I am in my. I think I'm in like the middle of the road on that. Leave the room. Minority. Huh. Wait, no, no, no. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode. So, um, hope you all have a pleasant evening and our morning, and I'll see you all next time for the next episode of, of Detroit Become Human. Bye-bye!